Good morning, everyone. This is Rafe Gal. This is Gato Robato. We are making our way to the air vents, the ventilation system, where we have picked up the clue that the gimmick for that one is going to be kind of the opposite of last time. You cannot use the suit regularly because of narrow passage, so we're probably going to be in and out of the suit regularly. And if there's going to be an upgrade for Kiki directly, this might be where it comes in. So this is going to be, this is going to be kind of the equivalent of a stealth section. Uh, we have no weapons, one hit and you're dead, start over. And the game knows it by the fact that it's giving us that save point. Like. <laughs> Assuming we can't go down here. Yeah, it's a one way. Okay, so we're gonna get into some fun platforming this time, I think. <laughs> Kiki, see that? <laughs> Guessing that's going to turn off that vent there. Yep. Nope. Too impatient. And unfortunately, I had not gotten a save point. This is probably going to be a long one. jump. Kiki controls kind of awkwardly at times. The mech itself is very well, or is very easy to control. Okay. And we don't have to redo all of the digging, which is nice.
I dislike this. That wasn't that bad, though. So I'm guessing I need to push the button and then come back there. This is a really cool chase section. first. Which unfortunately, it looks like you can't get back. Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich. Effective as a nasty choice of words, but Barclay's health is certainly in decline. The poor thing, I've never seen anything like this. He must have been exposed to something quite carcinogenic. I wonder what those jerks in security did to him. I don't want him to die. He is my only friend, but I'm running out of ideas in medicine. Security is becoming suspicious. I have an idea, but it's likely to fail. I bound the consciousness of a rat into the body of a frog. Okay. confused. I figured I was going the other way. So I guess we go this way first and see what's over here. Cartridge. Big shot module. Normal shot, more powerful. I'm curious what the other gun upgrade is then. Okay, this doesn't actually feel that different, unfortunately. <laughs> like, it's clearly a little different, but... That did feel a little faster that time.
Okay. This does look like there's going to be a lot of backtracking again. Aha. So all of the vents are now flipped over here. So you can't really aim this or anything, which makes it a little less interesting, but okay, I guess. I'm gonna say those side turrets so far are not my favorite thing. They feel more tedious than anything. That one felt a little more challenging. Like, I think that they're, they're just teaching you how it works. But I kind of hope that that's not starting to kind of worry that that might be a boss. Yep. It's been inspiring watching your progress. You haven't figured it out yet? Gary? I don't know what you are, but this ends now. Kiki, crush that little free. So this is kind of annoying because the entire So these cannons just got introduced. At least with the submarine, you had the entire time to get used to it. So the submarine section, you weren't using the mech, but you got were in and out of it the entire time, which was nice by comparison. I'm getting how these work. So if you get hit while you're in the turret, it temporarily disables that turret. Okay, so 
So you actually want to be in the turret when you get hit there. That's actually kind of weird. You have to kind of let yourself get hit to get knocked out of the turret. Because if you get hit as just Kiki, you're, you're gone. Like that, which is a weird reaction because my first gut thought is, okay, I should dodge this. So I just need to be a little more patient and stay in there until the hit goes through. I was expecting to go the other way. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is a very challenging boss just because you can only take one hit. So there's not a lot of room for trial and error like some of the other ones. I wish that they didn't have all this text before each time. The good news is, it doesn't look like this boss takes as many hits as some of the other ones. Oh! That got fast. Okay. Uh, we were only like one or two hits away, the good news is, so... It's doable, but that last uh, roundabout is challenging. I'm kind of actually curious if it would be better at the end there to Yeah, to just take a hit like that. So counterintuitive there. I like the idea of the fight with just or er, where you're geeky. I'm still not a huge fan of the turrets just because of how they work slash don't work. You must feel pretty good about yourself. Enjoy ghouls, the time is almost up. Soon you'll know your place, both of you. Well, I guess we're going down here first. Fence have cleared out. That means we should be able to access the lab now. Flying kitty!
Huh. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of backtracking it looks like here. For map completion more than anything, I think. <laughs> no, I actually have to go run over there to check those other two sections. So I went, I didn't go back in, or back over here last time to so that. So I'm thinking that must be like a whole section over to the right that I'm missing that loops around. That's fine because I would have needed to backtrack partway anyway. Got in a little too close there. <laughs> Just for the record, I didn't feel like there was enough backtracking here to actually warrant a separate episode for it, like in the last one. Um, I may have been wrong based on this. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. Like there might be another power up or something. I need to wait for that to go by. I keep forgetting that. Just for the record, I am completely aware that this is not the game being challenging or unfair. This is me being really impatient and kind of dumb. This is what I was missing, okay. I'm not actually sure if we could have gotten through this earlier.
one other square there that I haven't seen yet, which is probably nothing, and is probably going to be just for the sake of map completion, but that's okay. Just loops back around. Perfect. Um, see, I think we go back here. Let's see if this is fully backtrackable. really unfortunate. Okay. So that means we basically have to go back through that same section over here that we just did. Hopefully without the trap rooms that we have to clear. unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll, we'll be able to get back to the main area here, and then we should have that last vent area that we can clear. Um, which I'm a little... I'm not 100% sure what the actual plan or like, looks like you're gonna have to go into the lab and then backtrack out, which I'm a little annoyed by. That's okay, though. Okay. We are getting close to our 100% mark. Um, I knew going in this wasn't a long game. Whoops. Back to Swamp Matcha. Um... <laughs> Maybe slow down a little. 
So we're getting very close to the 100% mark. I knew going in this wasn't a long game, but sometimes that's kind of nice. Like, just to be able to play through a game and, like, it hasn't felt like there wasn't stuff to find. Like, we've had to backtrack to get, a, to get our 100%. We're gonna be... And there's been a bunch to do. It's about fine. Actually, the other game that I've played in the last year or so that this kind of reminds me of is Blossom Tales, where it, each section has felt very good. It's felt about like where you would expect it to be for a game of its genre. In Blossom Tales, it was Zelda and this Metroid. It's just felt like there's not that many sections. It's fine. Like, <laughs> it still hits the formula. It's about half of the length of some of those other games, but sometimes that's all you need. Okay, and I think that's where we're going to wrap for now. So hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.